Hello YouTube, we're back with a quick uh, video. Well, probably not too quick, but we got two packages in. I thought I'd only be getting one today, but before that, yesterday we picked up... Yesterday was release day for Dissidian T, and we picked up... We picked it up. That's just the sleeve, but it came in a still book, and I got the one I kind of wanted. There's Sephiroth on it, of course. That's kind of what I wanted on the back. It comes with all this in there, which isn't really much of anything. Yeah, a bunch of other little stuff. There's that. Okay. The City of FFNT TCG promo said English. Pretty sweet. I didn't know they made they were gonna make a card game. Seems kind of cool then. Oh wow, they're all foils too. There's a Warrior of Light. Cool. Get a Cloud. I would rather have Sephiroth, but that's not bad. Wow, I think that's the coolest one out of all of them. Yeah, that's got to be the coolest one out of all of them. Sarah Farron, aka Lightning from Final Fantasy 13. Sweet. That comes with all this. I don't know what that really just a code. Okay. Yeah, so I'll pop the game disc out and you guys can see what the that looks like. Personally, I kind of do hate steel books because they're hard to take care of. Well, yeah, there's that. And then we'll just flip it and you guys can see how it looks like right there. Cool. Okay. I'm gonna put that back in. I'm not gonna play it yet. I gotta get down to popping it in the PS4. So yeah, there's that. We got from Jerry Henson. So let me go ahead and rip this right now. that that just fell out hey sick he threw a bonus in okay uh first off yeah this dude sent me that's what I bought I only paid 26 bucks for it no sense in paying 40 in the in the stores right when you can buy it cheaper on eBay and he also sent this Christian McCaffrey Wow and this other dude from uh I, just, I guess it's just his line art from Sugarland, it's pretty funny how long this box took to get here. That's got to be the optic box. Pretty funny how long it took to get here, considering the fact that Charm City Cards is in Maryland and they shipped it and it got here way before it got here on Monday. But, anyways, yeah, wow, uh, I did not order a box of uh, Belvita Blueberry. It's kind of weird that that's how he threw it in this box and sent it like that. But we'll go ahead and see. Quick. That's cool though. I like that bonus. Bonus Christian McCaffrey. Great the rookies card. Yeah, that's exactly what this one was. You freaking kidding me? Where the hell is that shit? Where'd I put it? It's over there. Hold on one second, people. Okay, what the hell's going on here? Why is the mega box bigger than the freaking uh collector's box considering the fact that the mega box the cards are all the way the hell down here like that it's like okay that's kind of stupid like uh, I was telling I was uh, I was watching Tony's video the other day the studio small box for 10 packs that's what all these should be if they're gonna be small packs and all that make it a small box what's the point of all this freaking card wasting all this freaking cardboard there's not gonna be much in it anyways let's get down to business hey 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 I can get a little lick Courtesy of Hayes. It's a good dog. It's getting freaking heavy for for her size. She's getting freaking heavy. She weighs about 30 pounds. That's heavy. Anyways, we'll set this down like this. 
Yeah, I couldn't find these at Walmart, and I still wanted the kind of open one. If I know any better, the hobby box looks like there's our, our memorabilia card right there. The hobby boxes are like 40 bucks. Maybe I should have gotten one. Uh, well, well, just go ahead and open this and hopefully see something good. I saw a lot of people opening these and a lot of people did really well. I saw Sandra open one too and it looked pretty, it looked like she did pretty well too. Oh man, our autograph is right, it's not bad. Autograph is right off the bat and it's of a potential defensive rookie of the year. Jim Brown and Ronnie Lott. Marshawn Lattimore. That's actually not a bad one at all. So we're going to be getting our, our hits right off the bat. Hopefully we get something else that's kind of cool. And stargazing inserts, always. Usually those are memorabilia cards too. They used to be memorabilia cards in uh, Absolute Football. That's cool. Playoff Momentum card, Tyreek Kill. Our rookie card is TJ Watt. Followed by Tom Brady and Mike Evans base cards. Man, what a way to start the box. I'll take that every time. A decent player. Frank Tarkenton and Warren Sapp. Deion Sanders. We got... Ah, oh, that sucks. They're not... We can't flip them this year. Remember last year? One player on front and the other player on the back? No, this time we just have... It's Freeman and Jones. They have it together. Thunder and Lightning. I like the front and back, though. They're, those were those were pretty cool. We got a numbered card of Troy Aikman. 150 out of 299. So that's kind of cool. I hated that guy. But uh, he was a solid player, I guess you can say. Demarcus Walker. Florida State. For rookie card. Eric Berry and Joe Flacco. Nice. I'm considering actually moving the memorabilia hit to the back considering the fact that, that that's our last hit we got our first hit right out the box right out the bat and it's like wow okay yeah, I guess it's alright let me go ahead and flip I don't like how these cards are all thrown however Mark Brunel Chris Martin yep Chris Martin that's cool uh, Fred Belitnikoff another good name Cam Chancellor Gridiron Force See what I mean? Two inserts per pack. That's sick. Uh, Drew Bledsoe stargazing. Unfortunately, the fat packs at Walmart sucked this year. I mean, remember last year's fat pack? 16 inserts, four rookies, one numbered card. This year, they didn't do that. You get three garbage uh, parallel cards. D.D. Westbrook, rookie card. Followed by Amari Cooper and Golden Tate. Oh, throw those over there. Yeah, there's our hit pack, possibly. I mean, our memorabilia hit. Wow. Oh, wait. It's right there. Wow, this guy seems to be following me, I guess. Oh, no, never mind. I, I keep getting those names. You know, Galladay and Gallman? I keep getting them mixed up. It's like, what the hell's going on with me? Yeah, I continuously get those two mixed up. Michael Irvin and Boomer Esiason. Kenny Galladay is our jersey card. Kind of cool. I like the way they look. Uh, rookie Stallions. I like the background and everything. That looks kind of cool. But, uh, I mean, the, the, the autograph is obviously the best thing. We got a Michael Irvin playoff momentum. Yeah, a Flea Flicker. Green, Dalton, and Hill card. That's kind of cool. And our rookie is John Johnson. Put those over there. Flip. There's a Malcolm Mitchell and Des Bryant. Malcolm Mitchell's injured right now. Kind of sucks. Decent player when he's not injured. And Roger Craig and Paul Hornung. Derek Brooks, Jordy Nelson, get another number card, hey, sick, oh my god, this kind of sucks, uh, it's it's cool because it's a number to 25, but uh, 
This is like the third numbered 16 to 25 I've gotten within the last week or so. But yeah, it's still cool, you know, 16 to 25. I need, uh, there's like three or four numbers I need to complete that six, that, that 25 collection. I want one of each, remember? I want one of 25, two of 25, all the way up to 24, 25, and 25 of 25. I want that, whole thing like that. But yeah, <laughs> no luck there. That's still cool though, I got a 25 again. As a matter of fact, my last 25 came out of freaking, uh, what was it? Bench warmer, huh? The Signature Series 2010. Yeah. Anyways, here's a Solomon Thomas rookie card. That's still cool, though. You know, you get numbered 25 cards. Keekly and Baldwin. Sweet. This uh, actually was not a bad box. I was a little... Should I really buy this box, or should I just leave it? But for 25 what, 26 bucks? Not a bad break for 26 bucks. Uh, Peyton Manning, Marcus Allen. Kabir Baja Biamila. There's a uh, Baldwin Wilson Rawls, another flea flicker. And uh, Playoff Momentum, DeAndre Hopkins. Uh, D'Angelo Yancey is our rookie card. Sammy Watkins and Travis Kells. Doug Williams and Randy Moss. You guys can go ahead and get the hell out of here if you want to now. I mean, the, the rest of the box is just going to be whatever. All our hits came within the first four packs. Uh, Ricky Williams. Hey, Boss Hogs, that's kind of cool. Or you guys can stay and watch, it's up to you. I'm not going to force you guys to stay here and watch the rest of this. Uh, it's a Marshawn Lynch Boss Hogs. Sucks that it's Lynch, but I like the Boss Hogs cards. i got to stretch my leg out. Great Iron Force, Gerald McCoy. Rookie is Eddie Jackson. Followed by uh, Fitzgerald and Wentz are our regular cards. The rest of the cards, I mean. Yeah, there's a uh, Dog Murderer and Jim Zorn. Marshall Falk. Another Stargazer, there's Travis Kels. I believe another numbered card. Wow. 11 of 49, Demarcus Walker rookie card. Cool. Guess we can take that. Our next rookie card is David Njoku for Todd, his Browns, uh, Landon Collins and Josh Norman cards. Uh, okay, we got two packs left. Looking for, you know who we're looking for? Will we get him? We'll see. I don't know, I may actually consider buying another one of these. This, was a, this wasn't a bad one, you know? Ray Guy and Roger Staubach, Roger the Dodger, uh, Edron James. Flea Flickers, Cooper Carr Lynch. Not too good with a Flea Flicker this year. There's uh, DeMarco Murray, Boss Hawks. And our rookie card is Samaj P. Ryan. Earl Thomas and Jake Cutler are, are the rest of the pack. Ah, okay. Christian Okoye. Wait, hold on a second. The Nigerian Nightmare, followed by uh, Freddie Taylor. Cool. Uh, Jeff Saturday. Nope, we're not going to get him, but we did get a nice rookie in the box. Hey, sweet. I, I'll take that. You know, either Jake Butt or Brian Erlocker. Brian Erlocker at Gridiron Force. That is cool. Uh, Odell Beckham Jr., Stargazing. And our rookie card is Deshaun Watson, which is a cool one. I wish I would have gotten Jake Butt, but... It ain't gonna happen today. Uh, Frank Gore and Jordan Matthews are the last two. So yeah, not bad. Not a bad box. If you can get them cheap, like 25, 26 bucks like I did, uh, I'd say go for it. Other than that, don't don't see them at Walmart and Target and all that and say, oh, 40 bucks, I'll buy it. No, buy it cheap. Go to eBay. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later.